I'm out here doing exactly what Corporal Ryan's doing right now, um, inspecting his workers, make sure they're following, um, following the NAMP, everything, so it's in compliance, the work being done, so our pilots can go out, fly safely, our um, crew chiefs, and was it pilots come back? Um, they go back home to your fa to their families at night, um, and then it's also all about training the new guys coming in. So using my experience, um, we we got a lot of new guys in, and that's the biggest thing because you want to train your replacement. So I try to teach them every time I go out with a new guy. I'm like, hey, this is why I'm doing this. This system does this. This is why we do this, and then try to like mentor them, make them better, so one day they can replace me whenever I get out of here. There's a lot of time crunch that needs to happen, so there's a lot of lot of pressure coming down, saying, "Hey, this aircraft needs to fly out today at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's going out to fly. Before it goes out to fly, it needs to go fix this." But there's also stuff you run into, like a problem. You only have three hours to fix this, and it has to be safe and by the book. So, like that, and then just Marine Corps stuff. So, obviously, we're worrying about all this the flight schedule, the maintenance, the day to day grind. And then it's hey, you guys have a PFT coming up. Hey, you have Charlie inspections. Hey, you got Wayne's. Hey, you got this. You got that. You pee me. You need to go online, like Marine Net, you got a lot of stuff going on. So with this job and then Marine Corps side, definitely it catches up to you sometimes. And you just gotta find a way to like manage all that. Honestly, I love the day-to-day -day grind. And then coming in, like I work with, I'm with these guys more than I am with my family. Um, so coming in and learning with them, progressing with them, uh, Wanting to be better, wanting to train the new guys, want to be better as a family. That's what that's what gets me through my days. Like when it gets tough. Yeah. Being a lance corporal, it is unheard of. It's rare to get, be a collateral duty inspector, CDI. Usually, it's a sergeant corporal, senior corporal, or sergeant like right here. Um, Definitely, definitely proud of picking up my CDI, which not a lot of people get. Like all those corporals, there's some corporals in the shop don't have it, but being a Lance Corporal, I hold a billet higher than most in the shop. So, yeah, building the bond with people in the shop. Like, like I said, like a lot of people coming in from all over the place. You learn a lot of stuff that you would have never known if you just stayed in your hometown. Um, met people from, we have people in our shop from like Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, like all, all over the world. And it's cool seeing how they see life compared to how we do. Um, that, yeah. And then being able to, I don't know how to word this, like going home knowing that I worked 110%. I put in 110% effort and knowing that I didn't slack off. I know the Marines under me, they know, or like the newer guys, they all know that like they come to me, ask me questions because um, they they don't know a lot at all. Um, so they come to me a lot, especially being the Lance Global CDI holding a high billet. They come to me, ask me a lot of questions and it's, it gets frustrating sometimes because I don't really don't have the answer to everything, but um, you can definitely tell they love to learn. That's When they come to me, I think that's pretty cool.